So here are a few fielding progressions we like to do with our fielders. The first progression is just going to be a stationary fielding position where I've got the fielder not moving his feet and I'm going to roll the ball right to him. So as a coach, I'm going to be about 10 to 15 feet in front, kneeling down, and I'm just going to try to roll the ball right in the middle of his body. What I'm paying attention to here is, is, he, is he in a good fielding position? Are his feet spread? Is he balanced? Are his fingers to the ground? Is he securing the ball with his throwing hand? My second progression is going to be fielding the ball and now shuffling to my target and throwing. Good. Again, I'm paying attention to his body, his balance, and his hands. My next progression now is going to be fielding, shuffling, throwing, and then moving towards my target. So we call that a foul. So he'll take a few steps after he throws towards his target he's throwing to to create a little bit momentum and so he can get a little bit more on his throw. So the fourth progression we're going to do, now we're going to have him stepping into his fielding position. So he's going to take a step back and now he's going to, as a right hander, he's going to go right, left, field, shuffle, throw, and then follow. Good. And now our last progression is we're gonna move him back a little bit. So he's gonna be in a little more game-like situation where he's gonna to have to charge the ball, break down, get into his fielding position, shuffle, and throw, and then follow. What we're doing here is we're creating, we're, we're trying to cement the footwork and the glove work for the infielders. And the, the, more rep, the more reps you get with the kids, the easier it is for them to be able to pick it up. So first we're working on the glove work, then we're working on the shuffle, then we're working on the follow. So we're creating, you know, the good footwork and the good momentum. So we're creating strong, accurate throws every time.